Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. friends, welcome. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today our discussion is, what is driving you? This is a cool one. Each of you is born with the inalienable birthright of your own soul. As such, your soul is not just part of you, your soul is you. Your soul inhabits your body, your personality, your circumstance in the same way you might get into a car and drive it. In some lifetimes, you choose a luxury vehicle. In others, a junker ready for the junkyard. In others, a car that drives with utmost reliability and lack of problem. You drive different cars in different lifetimes. Some of you will drive different cars in this lifetime alone. The point is that you as soul are the driver. You as soul creates your entire experience in this and all lifetimes. So, okay, it's not about, (laughs) it's not about cars, right? It's not about cars. Eh, I'm just thinking back to when I had a Pinto back in the day. Uh, Yeah, that that could have been archetypal or symbolic of my life at the time, but uh, thankfully I don't have that anymore. Um, this idea of what you're creating and how you're dealing with your soul in your body um, and understanding that regardless of what physical container you've arrived in, maybe you're, yeah, you know, Maybe you're a person that's like so attractive, like, wow, that would be pretty interesting to be like so good looking or ridiculously attractive. It would just be interesting. Um, What if you're a person who's really healthy and strong and has this amazing physique and this amazing amazing coordination and athletic ability? It's kind of like the car you're driving in. What if you were just pretty average and like, not that much was noticeable about you or what if you were a person who had like significant health issues and and that was part of the situation or what if you were a person who was born into a situation where you know there wasn't enough food or you didn't get health care or there were other reasons that you couldn't grow as healthfully as you might have in a different situation So all of these are about the body and especially interesting, I think, because in modern culture, it's very accepted to, no, I don't know if it's accepted, but it's, it's very much in our social media that transforming your body with, um, medical or chemical procedures is like just normal. And so that's interesting because that's taking the body that your soul has arrived into and then shifting this. And I'm not especially talking about anything really that could be, you know, cosmetic surgery. It could be gender. It could be for something else. Like I'm not really differentiating. It's just interesting that this part of the culture has come up. So we have the ability to change things mm, that may be 10, 20, a hundred years ago, we couldn't change at all. We just like, here's what you get. So now that's changed a bit. So we're able to work a little more creatively, I guess, or a little more flexibly, flexibly with the form that we arrive into if we don't like it. And again, this isn't for any, everybody. This is just for this smaller group of people who are sort of experimenting or, or doing that kind of work right now. Um, but this idea of recognizing no matter what, that we are, the soul is the driver, not the body, not even the personality. The soul is the driver. 
And especially as we get older and our bodies start to like fall apart in the various ways that that begins to happen, you know, where our back hurts, we are, we can't do as much exercise, like whatever, all the things that anybody who's over 45 is going to be like, yeah. <laughs> and then some of the people who are older are like, oh yeah. Um, we understand that the body is really the vehicle that's taking us everywhere, but it's not us. It's not us. And recognizing over and over again, this piece of us that is the infinite, that is the eternal, that is the peace that knows oneness, peace that can't be separated from oneness. So today, as you're thinking about, um, you know, oh, I love my body. I hate my body. I wish my body were this way. I am grateful for my body to be this way. Whatever it is that you're thinking about your physical container, I just really like you to take that moment and kind of remember as many times as it takes, like, this is not who I am. This is like a hat I put on when I came out of divine space into this world. Like, oh yeah, I'll take that red hat. Okay, I'll take that black hat. This is just what we're wearing. It's not, it's not our true self. And even the personality that we've sort of created as this bridge between body and soul, we've got this personality sort of going on, all of our very various characteristics. That's not us either. That seems like us a lot of the times, but it's not us. This deeper true self. And if you really, really, really just don't know what true self is, then this is this time to like get really still, close your eyes like right now and go in and ask, like show me what is my true self and just wait until you feel like you know it. And if you know what your true self is and you haven't visited for a while, that would be a good process. What is driving you is not your goals, your dreams, and your plans. What is driving you is your soul. Your soul's the driver. Like, let the soul lead. Thank you for listening.